Assalamualaikum and have a very good day everyone. My name is Ezra Shimi bin Azhan and I will be presenting about automation for smart agriculture linear system using Arduino. This project is supervised by Mr. Rojahan bin Makawi and assisted by Encik Muhammad Rizal bin Manan as the co-supervisor. So, let's move to the introduction. Agriculture is a crucial sector in Malaysia. Nowadays, population shows a positive trend of growth. Therefore, when population increase, demand also get increased and supply need to be increased too. But not everyone has the patience in farming. This situation makes the sector facing labor shortage. Hence, in this project, I am implementing the new method of agriculture with least human interaction. The problem that make this project has been developed are because of urbanization has reduced the green area of agriculture. Furthermore, the air pollution index for our country is at worrying value because of usage of vehicles such as tractors, lorries and other vehicles. Then, in order to succeed in these sectors, farmers need to spend much time to take care of the plants and the bigger the crops, the more labor they need. The project objective are to design the linear system. The second objective is to developing is developing the prototype of smart agriculture system using Arduino and the last objective is to analyze the performance of the system. So now let's move to the project scope. The main element for this project is aluminum profile for the track. Then Arduino is used as the brain of the project while DC motors are used to move the aluminum profile for watering process. Then the soil moisture sensor is used to detect the condition of the soil. For software, I use SOLIDWORKS for mechanical design and Arduino for the coding with Proteus for the electronic schematic diagram. So for the project workflow, in FYP1, it is more to planning phase including identifying the problem and objective of the project. Then I compare previous research about the project or research that related with this project. After that, I construct the gun chart to estimate the completion date where I took count into every aspect from purchasing, postage, and everything about the project. Next, I sketch the conceptual design and list down the materials that are suitable. Then, after I have drawn every part of the project, I assemble in SOLIDWORKS. While in FLP2, I start the process with purchasing the materials that has been finalized. Then assemble the aluminum profile, which is the mechanical part of the project. Then I develop the system and after everything has been ready, I test the system. In this section, I show the system's block diagram. The input for the system are soil moisture sensor and a push button while for the output are water pump, fertilizer pump, LCD and DC motor. The system start with the soil moisture sensor read the moisture of the soil. Then the LCD will show the condition of the soil, whether it is wet, moist or dry, and the status of the rail on or off. If the moisture level more than 100, the water pump will turn on and the rail is on. As for material selection, I choose aluminum profile because it does not rise since the project plays around with liquid. And I use VW roller to allow movement along the rail. Arduino Uno acts as the central processing unit of the system connected with the relay that acts as the switch. The Arduino water pump is used to pump the water to the misty nozzle when the sensor detects irregular reading of the soil moisture. And lastly, the LCD used to display the condition of the soil. So this is the final dimensional design of the project. It shows that Two aluminum profile is connected with VW roller and DC motor and another two aluminum profile connected with the bottom rail. An aluminum profile is connected with vertical frame. Then the base of the project is made of hollow metal and as for movement, it uses GT2 gear with 6mm belt. So this is the 3D view where I assemble it by using SOLIDWORKS. And now let's move to the result. This is the project look and this is the isometric view and this is the front view of the project and sensor positioning view where the sensor is located at the middle. So the chart shows 
time versus moisture. As the chart shows, it starts with wet soil. Then when as time passes, the moisture drops drastically because of the weather is hot, so the evaporation rate is high, and that is why the soil becomes dry. When the system detects the water soil and the moisture increase gradually. This graph shows the water consumed for the system. From the graph, it can prove that the system can help farmers in saving water because it watered the plant with only necessary amount of water just to keep the soil wet and water gain when the soil is dry. This chart indicates the time taken for the rail to travel from end to end and it shows that the movement of the roller is stable. So this is the summary of the project where this project is suitable for indoor farming and it takes good care of plant and the process of farming has been automated. The future work for the project is to increase the height of the rail and to monitor the system by implementing IoT and adding automated tank filler. So this is the novelty of the project where we can see for the hardware it has uncomplicated wiring and it is low cost component and material and effortless price on hardware sensor while for the software it interface with Excel for data collection and it is beneficial for progress monitoring. So this is the potential application of this project. This project can be used in high use industry with reduced annual consuming costs. The opportunities can help farmers to increase productivity, reduce costs, and improve efficiency in agriculture while providing revenue streams for the project. Collaborating with other companies to integrate the system with other technologies and developing and selling the smart agriculture system as a product. This is the demo of the project movement. Before I end my presentation, I would like to share a quote. Always do your best. What you plan now, you will harvest later. With that, I end my presentation about automation for smart agriculture linear system using Arduino. Thank you.